Okay, this is Mr. Asher, and this is for Chem 121. And I'm going to go through some examples of writing electronic structures for atoms. And remember, we're going to write them in terms of this energy diagram, where energy of these orbitals is increasing. And uh, these numbers here sort of correspond to the periods or rows on the periodic table. And then these orbitals will correspond to the uh, groups or, or columns on the periodic table. So we'll do a bunch of examples and hopefully you get the idea of what's going on. So the first, the first atom we're going to look at is beryllium was up here. Remember, this is its atomic number four. So it's atomic number four, which means it has four protons and a neutral atom will have four electrons. So if we look at the energy chart, we have to put four electrons in and following the Aufbau principle, they're gonna populate from lower energies up to higher energies, pairing two electrons in each orbital, which is given by a circle. So we get two electrons, which completely fill the 1s level. And then we have two more electrons for four total electrons. So we would write the electronic structure of beryllium as 1s2, 2s2. And there's an alternative format to write that in, and that's using the noble gas format. And so you can see that if you fill the lower energy shell, it becomes isoelectronic or the same electronic structure as the, as the noble gas in the next row above it. So beryllium here is in period two, the noble gas in period one is helium. So helium has an electronic structure of two electrons in the in the 1s orbital, right? So we can write also this as helium, the atomic symbol for helium in square brackets, and then everything above that. And so these would be the valence electrons in beryllium 2s2. So beryllium has two electrons in the 2s orbital. That's that little two there, and it has two valence electrons. The, the uh, noble gas formula you'll see is, is a little more useful for larger atoms, and we'll get to that in a few examples. So that's the structure of beryllium. 1s2, 2s2, or noble gas formula, helium in brackets, and then 2s2. So let's look at carbon, which is atomic number six. Let me get this out of the way here. Carbon number six, so it means a neutral atom would have six electrons. So in terms of our, our, our off-bow principle, it fills up the 1s, then the 2s, and then it has two p electrons. And following Hun's rule, these electrons then go in unpaired into these orbitals. So it goes in one p orbital here, and then a second p orbital here. So the one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. And we write this as 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p2. And again, same as before, it's a helium, and then 2s2 and 2p2, so that carbon has a total of four valence electrons, two in the 2s and two in the 2p. Fluorine, same row, but it now has an atomic number of nine. And so nine electrons. And if we look at fluorine, now it's got two, four, six, eight, nine. Following the Hun's rule, we are now pot, we now have to fill up the 2p orbitals and pair electrons in there for five total electrons in the 2p orbitals. So its electronic structure is 1s2, 2s2, 2p5, and then helium in brackets, 2s2, 2p5. And so fluorine would have seven valence electrons. Let's look at sulfur, which is in period three, right below oxygen. And sulfur has 16, atomic number 16, 16 protons and 16 electrons. So following the Aufbau principle, it fills up like this. So now it's two, it's period two, or up to the two level is completely filled. And then it's got two electrons in the, in the 3s and then four electrons in the 3p. So here we write this as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p4. And now these electrons here, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, if you go back, are the same electronic structure, where's my cursor? Same electronic structure of neon, which has 10 electrons. So two, four, six, eight, 10. So this is neon. So we would write that as neon now in the square brackets and 3s2, 3p4. And sulfur would have six valence electrons, two plus four. Okay. Strontium down here in period five, here in column two or, or, or group two has a, has a, a 
a um, an atomic number of 38, meaning it has 38 total electrons. And if you look over here, krypton is the is the is the noble gas that is right above it with 36 electrons. So if we draw the electronic structure of, of, of strontium, we're gonna fill in two electrons. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. So this is 38 total electrons. And we write this as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2. And now we can see the power of this noble gas format that we can abbreviate all of these electrons as krypton. Because krypton, if we drew that out, would have the same electronic structure as this. So krypton 5s2, and we saved all of that writing just by writing that as krypton. <clears throat> Let's look at a second element in row five. Indium, symbol I, I'm sorry, indium, symbol IN, with 49 electrons. So indium is going to look like this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 46, 48. Wait a minute, I miscounted somewhere. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 40, 16, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 40, 42, 46. What have I done wrong here? Uh, Indium is 49. What did I not do? I'm not counting something right. 10, 18, 20. 30, 36, 38, 48. Oh, there's just one too many electrons here. 48. Indium's only got one electron in the p orbital, right? See, I wrote it right here, but I didn't write it here, so I need to correct that. So there's only one electron in the p orbital. And indium does have 49. It's just the second arrow shouldn't be here. Grumble, grumble. So so this is the electronic structure, which I've written correctly here. I just didn't draw it correctly here. Indium only has one p electron. So this is what it looks like, 1s2, all these things drawn out. Again, this part here is the same electronic structure as krypton. So now we'd write it as 5s2, 4d10, 5p1, remembering that these electrons, because it's a completely filled d subshell, doesn't count towards the uh, valence electrons so indium would have three valence electrons, two in the s orbitals and one in the p orbital. Next atom is iodine, which is again in period five. And it's uh, one, two, three, four, five over. So it's got 53 electrons and hopefully I've drawn this correctly. So 53 electrons. <clears throat> so again, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, right? I'm counting here because there's 10 here. So it is 20 electrons to here. 10 more here is 30. Six more here is 36. 38. 10 here in this deal sub the subshell is 48. And then 50, 52, and 53. So there's 53 total electrons here. That's iodine. So its structure looks like this all the way up here to 4010 and then 5p5 for five electrons in the p orbital. And again, I forgot to move this around, but it looks like krypton, where now it's got 5s2, 4d10, 5p7. These don't count to the valence, so there's two plus seven, five, which is seven electrons in iodine's um, valence shell. Final one, we'll look at copper, or no, I guess there's a few more. We'll look at copper, which is in period four. So it's here and it has an atomic number of 29, so 29 electrons. This is what copper looks like. So it's 20 up to this point, then two, four, six, eight, nine more. So it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9, and that's 
argon. That's the electronic structure of argon. So we will put argon, the symbol for argon here, and then 4s2, 3d9. And since this D shell isn't filled, we would say that copper has 11 valence electrons. Okay. And then um, we're going to go through, I've drawn out the structure for the two copper ions. And now I want to look at some periodicity. Okay, so we're going to look at all of the, um, the electronic structure for fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, right? So for fluorine, if we look down here, it has 2s2, 2p5. So it's got two electrons here in the fully in, in the s orbital, and then five here for seven total valence electrons. And then if we look for chlorine, again, seven valence electrons with the same outer electron structure, 3s2, 3p5. Bromine, 4s2, 4p5, these 3d electron, 3d10 electrons don't count because it's a fully build, filled shell. So again, 4s2, 4p5, 2s electrons, 5p electrons. <clears throat> and again, for iodine, 2s electrons, 5p electrons for seven valence electrons. So what's happening is periodicity is being caused by the same electronic structure in the outer valence shell. And that's what's going on and why things are behaving chemically as you go down, as you go along in columns in the periodic table. Okay, so that's enough examples. We'll do some more in class in the problem set. Hopefully you understand what's going on now and I'm going to stop there.